2021 is a year to remember with many technological developments. What were the key market developments and what did companies focus on? But also, what are the key trends for 2022? Richard Smith is the Executive Vice President of Technology EMEA at Oracle, and he's here to look back at 2021 and look ahead to 2022. Welcome, Richard. Thank you. 2021 was a special year with many technological developments. If I ask you an unfair question, can you summarize the year in just one word? What's the word that, that comes up to your mind and why did you choose this word? Wow, um, Ronald, that a little unfair, one word. Um, I guess I would sum it up as, uh, as acceleration. And uh, let me give you three uh, dimensions of, of, of why I would say that. Um, First and foremost, I think the acceleration of the move to cloud. I think we all see that as a as a driver in our daily lives, and uh, and the degree to which our cloud is becoming mainstream uh, in uh, in our lives, and indeed for across all major organisations and companies. Um, from an Oracle standpoint, we've seen this in the spirit of some very big moves with companies like Deutsche Bank across Europe, Telefonica, who are actually looking to move major parts of their technology to the cloud. Second dimension, I think, uh, Ronald, would be that of uh, acceleration of change in our industry. And, you know, we're in, we're in IT, so I guess we always talk about change, but um, certainly for me, over the course of the last year, the focus on skills and the need for skills and indeed uh, accelerated skills has, has been very, very strong. Um, we see a new generation and we need a new generation of skills coming into the technology and environment uh, in Oracle, again, about a year ago, we kicked off an initiative that we call Generation O, where we're bringing in actually over 500 people this, in this financial year who are actually either new to the industry or actually returning to the industry a, a, after a break. Um, and we have already 200 plus people of those, the, those on board. And I will tell you from day one, they're having an amazing impact throughout our company and actually helping us see the world in, uh, in, in many more diverse ways. Um, and, and Ronald, given your heritage, uh, I think this one might appeal to you. Data is everywhere, and it also means the acceleration and the use and the understanding of data and where it's applied. And Oracle, we're big sponsors of Formula One, the Red Bull team in Formula One. And uh, we're very focused on helping Max and Sergio get across the line, uh, hopefully in first place, uh, you know, much, much faster uh, utilizing our technology. Also examples of where uh, we actually now sponsor the English Premier League uh, utilizing AI, where we try, I think with, a, with quite a, a high degree of accuracy to determine outcomes in the game, depending on who's playing, what their statistics are, et cetera. So, and the, and the, uptick, and the uptick in the energy around that has been very, very high. And of course, we continue to uh, very proactively support SailGP uh, across the region and, and across the globe. So we've jumped into sports in a very big way at Oracle. We're sports fans, of course, but I think it's a great example of, of the acceleration and utilization of data. I really like the choice of the word acceleration. And as a Dutchman and a Max Verstappen fan, acceleration is key, especially for Max, of course. As organizations change and accelerate rapidly, so do the challenges. So what key challenges came up in the past 12 months? Um, actually, the, the challenges that we see have been largely consistent, I, I think, Ronald, with what many of our customers have been telling us for a long time. Obviously, it, as you know, Oracle is, is four, four plus decades old. We're very, very proud of our heritage. Uh, our technology is used across, across the enterprise systems of, of, of literally hundreds of thousands of clients across the world. The, the two things that they continue to talk about with, with intensity uh, is the management of their data, and we talked about that relative to the acceleration theme, and security. Um, and we've all seen, uh, you know, circumstances where, where security hasn't been, uh, you know, necessarily well applied or well, well deployed, and, and frankly, the negative consequences from that. Um, and so those two things are extremely, extremely important to our customers. Um, the other thing I would say in that regard is, uh, in, in terms of data and security, is also data sovereignty. Uh, if you take regulated uh, uh, areas, including the public sector, 
finance sector, uh, uh, but in, in particular within the public sector, you know, data sovereignty is a massive, massive thing. Uh, we in Oracle, and we're very proud of this, we've ad addressed some of this through a rapid rollout of cloud regions across the region. I kind of have to count these out because they keep changing. We've, uh, we've recently done facilities, uh, announced facilities in France, Israel, Saudi Arabia, UAE have joined facilities in the UK, uh, Germany, Switzerland, Netherlands, and actually just recently we've announced cloud regions in Stockholm and Milan. So that's 10 uh, countries now. And, uh, and we also have Spain and South Africa coming online in the new year. So we're, we're very proud of the footprint. And it isn't, it isn't only just about deploying data centers for the sake of it, of course, right? It's about managing and supporting those two themes that we talked about you know, data, data management, security, and, and the likes. Um, the other thing is actually, and I, I've already mentioned this with the likes of Telefonica and Deutsche Bank, where they've actually taken this a step further and said, you know, uh, cloud capabilities are important to us, but we want it behind our firewall. Uh, and Oracle has some very unique technology that we call Cloud at Customer, where basically, uh, where they take all of the cloud services, but put them behind their firewall which helps satisfy regulatory requirements and, uh, and, and security and the like. So there's, there's kind of a flavor of Oracle Cloud depending on what our customers need. But again, I, I'm, I'm using the term again, security uh, comes front to, front to mind. Cloud at every customer building. That's quite a bold statement. Now, if we look ahead to 2022, what will be the main priorities for enterprises, you believe? Okay, um, again, uh, trying to encapsulate this, um, but let, let, let me let me call out a, a few of the things I think that that, that I think are, are are important, and I will apply the caveat that you know within the technology technology industry we're used to fast change, and of course anything can happen. Uh, firstly, unfortunately, COVID is 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 sadly still with us, uh, and that means that we within Oracle, as indeed all organisations, need to continue to look after our people. Uh, but we also think about this in the spirit of, of, of our wider social responsibility. Um, we are very, very proud uh, to be engaged with ongoing projects with the likes of Oxford University, where we uh, worked to help them ruggedize the code that they use to help identify new variants of, of COVID. Uh, we're working very closely with the Tony Blair Institute to help identify countries around the world uh, with vaccine management and, and indeed companies like Oxford Nanopore who are actually using Oracle technology for complex genomic sequencing activities. So for me, this is where some of the true Oracle heroes and, and indeed the partners that we're working with um, to roll up their sleeves and to support complex technology uh, projects that really, really uh, matter to humanity. Um, from a business perspective, I think the trend that we talked about in terms of data security and sovereignty will continue. Uh, this will remain you know, the top job for ourselves and the customers. And, you know, as I said before, the acceleration to the cloud will continue, but for us, it will be done in a way that, that absolutely does not compromise that point. Um, and then I think the other point that I would touch on is I think there are going to be some very interesting, continued interesting technology solutions uh, in and around uh, many of the third party relationships that we have and, and companies utilizing Oracle Cloud. In areas like banking and telecommunications, there are clearly some disruptive trends like open banking and the impact that it's having on financial services or indeed within you know, 5G and telco, which are actually driving fundamental impacts on the technology stacks that our, our, our customers and established industries have. So my hunch is that there will be more things to, uh, to watch and see and, and play out here just, just by way of a few examples. Thank you, Richard. I think it's a great summary of 2021 and a great outlook for 2022. Thank you. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.